You may also have heard of something called a layer 3 exchange point. These days it's a marketing concept used by transit ISPs. Some incumbent telcos call their domestic or international transit businesses exchanges. They're exchanging packets, so their argument is that they're an exchange point. But they are not. Real internet exchange points are only layer 2. And layer 2 is the accepted international standard. If we look at a layer 3 exchange design, there are many things that cause problems for potential members. First off, there's one extra autonomous system hop between peers. And that makes the path via the exchange point suboptimal or less preferred. Path between peers usually remains with the upstream transit provider unless the members are adept at doing the traffic engineering. Members cannot peer with whom they please. And basically you see the layer 3 exchange, so-called, implementing mandatory multilateral peering, unless the exchange operator is very adept at handling BGP and BGP attributes. The third party operator has to configure all the peering sessions, configure the peering policy, and manage the peering between the different members at the members' requirements. There's more complicated troubleshooting. Troubleshooting peering problems has to involve the exchange point operator as well. There's no policy control. BGP attributes shared between members get dropped by the exchange point router. Common examples of those dropped would be the BGP communities and multi-exit discriminators. Other issues include the fact that CDNs, the content distribution networks, won't join. They often have requirements to peer directly with exchange point members. And the redundancy issues as well. Layer 3 exchanges with dual sites appear as two separate transit providers between peers. And then again, it begs the question of how the traffic engineering could work. And the final issue is that the Layer 3 exchange point operator requires strong BGP skills. So the general advice is do not even consider Layer 3 exchange points. They're not internet exchange points. They're service providers, transit network, masquerading as an in-connect. The industry standard, as I mentioned at the start of this clip, is Layer 2, and today that is really just an Ethernet switch.